Hello and welcome to Course Networking. This tutorial will show instructors how to create and publish a quiz within a course. We'll start by going to the course homepage. At the course homepage, find the quizzes feature and click on it. Click on the blue Create a Quiz button to begin setting up a quiz. The quiz creation form starts with the name of your quiz. Next, you'll need to enter a quiz description and then fill out the instructions section if it is needed. The following sections determine when and how the quiz will be published. By choosing the Manually option, you are choosing to publish it at a later time by yourself. If you choose the Publish Quiz After Date option, then you must choose a date and time in which you want the quiz to automatically become available to learners. Remember, if you do not publish a quiz you've created or choose a future publishing date and time, your learners cannot see the quiz. After choosing your publishing preferences, you will then need to choose a due date, date and time in which the quiz closes and learners are no longer allowed to attempt. Next on the form, fill out the number of attempts a learner is allowed to take the quiz. If you allow more than one attempt, you can choose from a couple of options on how you want the learner's scores to be recorded in the gradebook. Next, choose how you want your questions displayed on the page whether or not you'd like them to shuffle for every learner or every attempt, and whether or not you want your learners to be able to view their submissions or answers in the Dropbox after completing each attempt. You can modify this setting at any time. Next, attach any necessary images, files, links, or videos to the quiz and then choose Make this quiz visible to the course. When the form is complete, click on the blue Create and Add Questions to continue. The quiz name will be shown and you can click on the blue pencil to return to the quiz settings and make changes or click on the blue add a question button to begin creating questions. Pick from these six question types. Click on the hint for more information on a specific question type. This time I am going to choose a multiple choice question as an example. Type your question, attach files if needed, Select either one or multiple correct answers, and then add selections. Remember to check the box to tell the system which one is the correct answer. If you want to shuffle the order of the selections, check this box. Define the point value of the question and then click on the blue Save This Question button. The question has been created. Now let's add another question. This time we want to create a fill in the blank question. Type out the question in the text box. You can insert special characters and formulas through these tabs. Let's insert a formula. To indicate the correct answer of a blank, simply type the correct answer inside of a parenthesis. When learners take the quiz, they will only see the blank. If their answer is exactly the same as the correct answer you put in, the answer will be considered correct. Please note that if a correct answer includes text, it is case sensitive. After creating the question, enter a question point value. Instructors can edit or delete questions before a quiz is published. After all of your questions are added to the quiz, simply click Done. If you previously chose to publish your quiz at a specific time, it will become published to learners on its own when the published date approaches. If you choose to manually publish your quiz, it will remain unpublished until you click on the green Publish button. Again, unpublished quizzes are not available to learners. They don't see these quizzes anywhere in their course site. Thanks for tuning in to this tutorial. To watch more CN tutorial videos, please visit the Course Networking YouTube channel. If you have any further questions about the site, please contact us via email at help at the cn .com.